Coming up on Ham Radio Q&A, the Luton 898UV mobile transceiver. Hello and welcome to another episode of Ham Radio q and I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Thanks for joining us today. Well, today we're down in the shack, and things might look a little bit messy. Well, usually things are a little bit messy, but today a little more so than, than usual. That's because I'm in the middle of a project. I'm in the process of building a new radio go box. I've been um, wanting another go box, something that's super, super convenient, super portable. I've been watching online, you know, reading a lot of reviews and, um, and articles and videos on building go boxes. And I think that one of the one of the problems I see is that people try to cram too much things into into, into too big of a box, and this becomes becomes heavy, becomes bulky, and to a certain extent unusable. Uh, what I prefer is to go light and go fast. I think that's because I like to do a lot of camping and backpacking, and, and space and weight's always been a premium so, for the things I do. So, with that being said, um, my my goal has always been to build a go box into one of these tiny um, ammo cans. Uh, these are the 30 caliber style. It's, it's five by 11 by about seven inches. Uh, Pretty, pretty small, pretty small footprint. And if I had something like this that I could just have a battery and a radio and an antenna all in one, you know, that, that would be super convenient for me. So, enter into the picture the Luton 898 UV. Uh, this is one of these newer um, Chinese radios um, that, have, that have hit the market within the last year or so. And the thing that really caught my attention was this. Well, number one is the form factor. This thing is only a few inches. You know, it's it's only about four inches deep. Uh, you don't get much you don't get much smaller than that. It's only about five inches wide. It's about the same thickness. You know, it's about about an inch and a half uh, thick. It's about the same thickness as you know most of my my mobile radios, um, but it's 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 almost a third the size. Now the downside on this, 10 watts of power. Uh, well, you know, I can get by with 10 watts uh, if you're on, if I'm working with a repeater. Even if I'm working with simplex within close range, 10 watts is going to be um, plenty, plenty of um, plenty of power. And what's the difference? You know, on, on a, what's the difference between 10 watts and 50 watts? Well, maybe two S units. We're not talking a whole lot there. And if and if you're working with public service activities or events where um, you're on a repeater most of the time, you know, a, a lower power radio is going to be plenty fine for the purposes. So. You know, with with a, with a selling price of in the neighborhood of sixty to seventy dollars, I took the plunge, picked up this radio, and um, we're going to see what we can do with it. So I got I got the radio. You know, it's it's basically you know what this thing is is nothing more than say a, a Baofeng handheld where they took the where they took the processor board out of out of the handheld, slapped it in a little bit bigger chassis, uh, maybe gave it a little bit more powerful. Um, a final final PA, a little bigger transistor there, and uh, for the for the final output, and um, gave it a gave it a, a little bit more of a, a mobile fen friendly screen and display, and, and and called it that. So, what do we got? Well, let's go to the unboxing and 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 see what you know. Take a look at what, everything you get with this radio. All right, here's the Luton LT eight ninety eight. UV package, uh, pretty small box as you can see here. Opening it up, um, nice little card, Team Luton, I would I would presume. A nice that's a, kind of a nice touch to the radio packaging there. Uh, here's a CD with the uh, soft programming software on it. Don't bother with that. Download the Chirp program. User manual. It's um, of average quality. Yeah, I've seen better. I've seen worse. That's for sure. Yeah, a little speaker microphone. It's got a nice click on it. Uh, a coil cord. 8-pin connector similar to the uh, Kenwood's Yesu Zycoms of, of today. I think, it, I think it actually fits a Kenwood pinout. This is the USB programming cable. It, it clips into the microphone jack of the radio. And like I said, it works with the Chirp programming software. 
little clip for the speaker microphone. You can put that on your dashboard or something else. Uh, here's the power cable. Kind of interesting. It's got a, a cigarette lighter on the, on the end of it. The T connector on the on the other end. Pretty lightweight. That's like 18 gauge wire. So it's not designed to run full power radios, but it's plenty for this little 10 watt rig. Mobile mounting bracket, uh, steel. It's it's pretty lightweight too. Some little there's some screws in here too for that uh, little little mounting bracket. And then finally the radio itself, it's got that um, T-type connector on it that um, you see on VHF, UHF radios. So I'm going to take that off. I'll replace it with uh, Anderson power poles. I'll take the wrap off there. It's got a fuse holder in there, a nice safety feature. UHF connector in the back. Boy, this thing is tiny. Speakers on the top. Um, buttons to control all the features on the radio and um, size wise so here's my Kenwood 281 you can really see the size difference uh, between the um, little 10 watt Luton and uh, 60 watts for the Kenwood a uh, lot bigger heat sink definitely on the Kenwood it's it's a beefier radio than uh, than the little the little Chinese one but you know I think it's gonna it's gonna fit my needs and and fit my purposes just fine all right, you can see with the unboxing, there's not a whole lot. There's a whole lot with it. You get the radio, you get the you get the mounting bracket, you get a little programming CD. I dumped that right away, and I, I downloaded the Chirp uh, programming software. Recognize the radio right away. There's a profile built in for the little Luton 898. It actually shares the same profile as the Lyxan 898, and also the Jetstream. Uh, I think it's 270. Um, those are all the same radios. They've just been. Uh, rebadged with um, different different makers on them. Everything comes out of the same factory these days, I suppose. So, uh, well, in a future video, we're going to see the rest of the project as I mount it into the case. Um, already, I've, I've, I've taken the T connector. We put power poles on it. Uh, we've got a little little battery with more power poles so that we can turn this thing on, uh, program it, get her going. It's a great little radio. So, watch in future videos, you know, as we take you through the next step in uh, building my little go box out of, the, out of the plastic 30 caliber can. So with that, I'm Michael, uh, KB9VBR. Thanks for joining us uh, today on Ham Radio Q&A. Uh, you can always follow, subscribe to our videos. Just, press, just click on that subscribe button down below. Uh, follow us on Facebook. Uh, check out our blog at jpole-antenna.com. There's more great articles in there. Um, on amateur radio, especially geared towards the new hands. So thanks for joining us today. Have a great day and 73.